Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Rose of Venus Tarot. It's Lacey. Thank you so much for clicking on to my video. If you're new here, welcome. I hope you get really comfortable. If you're returning, hey, welcome back. And thank you so much for all of those who like, comment, and subscribe. It's been really helping me grow. Shout out to you guys. Okay. So this is going to be a general collective energy reading. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Right off the bat, I'm getting energy of people starting to realize that you are a trend center. I got to take this gum out of my mouth. Give me a second. Yeah, your girl loves gum, especially cinnamon flavor. Yeah, right off the bat, people are starting to realize you're a trendsetter. There's some people in your energy field that was too arrogant to take your advice on something. But now, huh, they kind of want your advice. Or maybe you always knew the moves and what to do next. It's like these people could have purposely tried to shoot you down. When you And you probably weren't even trying to just give these people advice. Like you could have just told them about a new sports drink you were drinking. And they're like, oh, actually, sorry, I'm having vegan um, protein instead. You know, like, you know, it's like... <laughs> real weird energy these people kind of got off on like not listening to you or your advice now some people the same people who got off on that they want to they want your advice now but they're way too arrogant to ask for it i'm also feeling energy in your energy field of 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 two two i'm feeling masculine energy like this might be for a feminine energy you know, it doesn't have to be male or female, but, you know, uh, two masculine energies that might be liking you. There's one of them that wants to come in and kind of sell you a dream. It's like, okay, this masculine energy likes that other people like you. They like that either this other masculine likes you and they want to move forward, but they don't really like you or who you are. Like, you know, it's like, they like you, but they want you to become something you're not. It's like, I like you, but if you weren't into those terror cards, you know, they, they want to make you into something basic. And then there's somebody who likes you because you're not basic, you know, two different energies here. I'm going to grab the what's the tea tarot. I'll probably go back into the what's the vibe tarot too. I like I like both of these decks. Woo! Hold on one second. Okay, the two cards that fell out. First one is impersonator. We got wants to be you, acts like you, dress like dresses like you, look like you, copies you. Somebody's real freaked out by how you shift things. Like you could be somebody that travels a lot. Are you? Yeah, we got moving on. Thank you, next. You could have moved out of somewhere, moved out of hometown, but people have a tendency to emulate you. And there's people who want to emulate you without giving you the credit, but people are now starting to give you the credit, like, you know, where it's due. Your style or your ambiance, what you do is very unique to you. And, you know, like now there's people who want to... A lot of people want to do what you do because you attract attention. Somebody's also noticing that you get a lot of haters because of the amount of attention you attract. Some of you guys are very eccentric or you're just yourself. You're authentic. You're not, you know, you, you even if you shop at the same mall, you're going to, even if you pick out the same dress as everybody else, you're going to look particularly different in it. There's something about your energy that's just different. Uh, flip some of these cards around. What, what's, what's going on? Oh, that card flipped over, so we're going to take it. It's Queen Rising, stepping into power, 
raised uh praised coming up spotlight like i said people are starting to give you this made me loud i'm usually not loud too people are starting to realize who mommy is and who daddy is like you know who's the one raising these who's out here like yo <laughs> they oh goodness and you know and there's some people who feel embarrassed oh and we got creeping want to come out these cars are slippery they want to come out today yeah you got somebody a lot of uh, main people creeping and there's somebody important too talking about you like somebody who was like maybe popular in your hometown talking giving you your credit and talking about how you're good at i'm hearing that what is that that stunner girl songs turned into nothing in the hundreds <laughs> you know <laughs> what is the name of that song oh goodness i wish i could remember it i'm probably checking it during one of my pauses uh here i'm I forgot the name of that song. I feel like she, she didn't make a lot of songs, but either way, a lot of people are talking about who the real one is at this time period. Um, goodness, let me check because that's gonna be yeah, that out. song is called Stand It. He, I'm out of hand get your bands oh well, yeah i had the words stuck in my head so i had to look it up i'm always turning nothing in my hundreds <laughs> yeah that's how people are looking at you right now like they can't stand it and there's also it's like oh goodness it's like people who felt like they were cool but they were only cool within your hometown or within closed social settings. Like nobody told these people they were cool. They just got together and felt like they were cool because they had like maybe a group. A lot of you guys turned nothing into something. You didn't need a group. You didn't need a crew. Like you, you got it on your own, you know? And you, it's like, okay, these people might win the group favor or the hometown favor but you are the people's choice. You know what I mean? Like you're, you're the people's choice. It's like, they got clout, you have fame, you know? People are starting to realize that too. And then it's like, people try to emulate you so that they could um, turn their clout into fame, but it just doesn't come off the same as you. And they start feeling weird because, you're a spiritual being and a lot of you guys aren't meant to be emulated but there's definitely somebody creeping on you really hard right now and they're trying to figure out like how you are the way you are you know they want to style like you they, they want to impersonate you you know and it's funny because you're the type of person i feel like you don't gatekeep you you give you know, you don't gatekeep, basically. So this person just, <laughs> they just don't want you to have the credit. I What did I say? I said, you guys are the mommies and the daddies. I said, oh, mommy or daddy. And then we got boss daddy coming out. Some of you guys are boss daddy or you're attracting in. Like I said, this goes back to those two masculine energies here stable, rich business owner, CEO, big D energy. Yes. It's one of these people got real big D energy. The other person got clout chasing energy. They're not really established. They're like, I don't know, weird, you know, whatever. The other guy is like, he's really established. He's not trying to sell you a dream. There's somebody who's really immature they want to sell you a dream. They want to tell you they got this, they got that. Some of these people might even rent a car to try to impress you, you know, and like try to convince you that they're, it's their car. They're real braggy. There's somebody here who don't brag, but they might talk more about things like, I don't know, a 401k and investments and, you know, try to put people on or whatever. You're going to know the difference between these energies because um, one, the, one of the boss daddy energy is matching your queen rising energy. So you, you might be this queen rising 
and you're attracting this boss daddy energy that wants to help you solidify this rise. And then there's somebody here who feels like they could help, but they're more or less clout chasing than firm building. Like, you know, like this person wants you because, you know, they only want you because you next. I'm hearing that weekend song now that, that she only wants me because I'm next. This person, there's a person that only wants you because you're next, you know? And then there's this person that, it's just a general overall kind energy. Like their vibe feels drinkable to me. Like when I tap into this person's vibe, the boss daddy vibe, their vibe is drinkable. They're humble. Like you're, you'll, you're going to like them. And I feel like they like you too. Like, you know, this person spirit is saying, please make the right choice with this. I know a lot of you guys don't really need people right now. They know that too. But, you know, this person probably might let you know that they're there if you need them. They're not. The, this other person is like, how oh, weird. It's like this person might want to promise you something and then not follow through on it to, um, I don't know, just for you to ask them about it, chase them about it. Then this person is going to call you a gold digger or something or that, or they just want to be able to get under your skin with lies. It's like one person wants to lessen your value. The other person wants to raise your value. Two different masculine energies here. One is very, oh, goodness. We're going to pull some... Um, What's the vibe, tarot? I might go into some tarot reading. Doop, I mean, doop. some tarot. We're about to clarify impersonator. Let's see what what's this impersonation about, spirit? What is this impersonation about? Why are they impersonating my collective? We already know. So we got trendsetters, never forgetters. <laughs> I just think I'm so funny. <laughs> Laugh at my own jokes. We got bad consequences. We got consequences in reverse and bad choices, games, mixed signals. So somebody is impersonating you, felt like you were making bad decisions at some point and, um, and whatnot. But now they're saying you're making the right decisions and whatnot. This is also, hmm, this could be, okay, different scenarios. This person wasn't held accountable for their actions, but you know, now they might be held accountable for this action. This impersonator also feels like you get away with a lot of things. They feel like you got pretty privilege or you got, you know, whether you're male or female, they feel like you got pretty privilege here. They feel like you got pretty privilege. They feel like, um, uh, you, you don't have to take responsibility for certain things. Some of you guys might have a kid and you might actually have the parent that can raise the kid. And they're like, oh, you don't know. It's like, you know, somebody like comparing their trauma and their struggle to yours, which is something you, you shouldn't do. You know, I can't stand those people, those people who compete in the pain Olympics. Somebody wants to compete in the pain Olympics. Somebody here feels like you you get away, um, you know, scot free on something. You know, a lot of things you get away on scot free. Some of you guys they feel like you know you might use your your if you have a disability, a mental health issue, or something. They feel like you might use that as an excuse to get away with certain things. That or this person uses their mental health issues as an excuse to get away with certain things. They don't really take accountability for their health. We got moving on and then we got distance, divorce, ghosted, separated in reverse. So somebody definitely doesn't want to move on from you. You know, because that's definitely, you're like, thank you, next. Somebody wants to close the distance between you guys. As you divorce somebody, they might want you back, you know, into their lives again. Huh. I don't know. I'm getting, hmm. Somebody wanted you to stay small, too. This person wants you to move back to their hometown, or they want you to move in with a relative. And, you know, 
have a sucky life. A lot of people are jealous at your lifestyle right now and what you're able to do. Uh, you got a little bit too much freedom for your haters. Clear, please clarify, Queen Rising. Queen Rising. We got paranoid in reverse. Somebody could have wanted you to be paranoid of your shine and rising into this queen power. Maybe you guys used to be paranoid of it because, you know, a lot of people uh, could have, like, I don't know, gotten blatantly envious of you. I'm seeing people just throughout the years, whenever you had time to shine, they would just try to overstep you or be like, it's not fair that you, but now it's like you guys are you're heading straight to the top and people can sense you don't care. You know, that bit of empathy you had or like guilt you had when it came to rising up is leaving you now. You deserve the spotlight. You deserve to come up. You deserve love. You deserve a, a nice body. You deserve, some of you guys might be thinking of getting your body done. Congratulations if you go and do that. It's your choice. <laughs> Nobody else's but you deserve all of that. You deserve the praise. You deserve the, the empathy that people have towards you. You deserve the attention because you're interesting. You're interesting and you're not just spewing out the same ish. All of these things that people, the good things in life that are coming to you, you deserve it. Anybody who's trying to step in your way, they deserve to get smacked. <laughs> spirit please clarify creeping Let's see who's creeping on my collective oh family came out family but blood ties inner circle some of you guys got family hair creeping on you that pulls back to the distance question somebody wants you to move back in with them somebody wants Somebody might even want to take you to court to see your kids if you have a kid or they want to, I don't know, this energy of if some of you guys do have a disability, they might either want um, a conservatorship or some sort of power of attorney. They could be trying to collect evidence that you're not stable enough to live on your own and hoping that they could get you to come back with them. I'm seeing a lot of you guys been doing well on your own. And a lot of people are not going to take them seriously. They don't, you know, you're an adult. You can live your life how you want. Spirit, please clarify, boss, daddy. And then you got somebody here, jealous family members too, spying on you. And there's also family that wish they would have listened to you. I'm hearing that too. I wish I would have listened to um, the collective. Yeah, somebody's mad. They wish that you had boss daddy options. They wish you were stuck with them and that you didn't have any options. This person could have been trying to cast magic spells to pull these masculines away from you. Some of you guys might notice weird things happening when you were around masculines. This person could have actually affected like a whole dating pool and energy. It's like this person could have tried to put magic on you and it forced you to go to your destiny sooner some of you guys might have had a soul contract with this person for them to come in and try to tower you so it pushes you to your destiny it's like it's happening in reverse like this person might have wanted you to have no options but they cleared out all the bs options accidentally with magic or I'm seeing a smug practitioner here who's like, oh, might have took their money thinking that they were going to get one thing out of it, but then they ended up flipping it and doing something else. Like, so this person is not, um, they, they could have like did magic to push you towards your soulmate here. Long story short, I'm going to pull some more cards on that. I feel like I want to pull another card under trap. I feel like this is it because it says intimacy here. There's somebody here, that boss daddy, that they want some sort of intimacy with you. They have a mutual respect 
towards you unlike this other person who wants to disrespect you because they're not on the up and up here you know this person wants unity closeness and whatnot and this other person wants to delay you hold you on they want you trapped in certain cycles they want you feeling like you have to settle or you can't do any better than what you're doing in life now they want you to feel like you don't deserve this type of love or you know any sort of judgment here it's like oh real weird energy and i'm feeling like you know huh we're gonna get some more tarot cards to lay over the top spirit tell me more yeah the impersonator energy somebody is definitely envious over you they they could have snapped and uh, lashed out on you because they felt vulnerable around you because they're not as creative this person has broken dreams and they always going to have broken dreams because they're always trying to compete with you rather than you know their selves doing what you know divine brought them here to do they want small things instead of fulfilling their destiny they just want attention this person might try to convince you that or other people that you just looking for attention they could have said oh i caught this one it says yeah okay and then this is coming out for moving on so we got depressed, missed opportunity, blind spot, feeling disconnected, mediation, contemplation, boredom, and reevaluation. Somebody is really sad and depressed since you moved on from them. You might not even know. Like if you look back at these people, they haven't even posted anything. They haven't changed their social media profile. They don't like, you know they're not the same anymore since you're gone. It's like they got a love hate for you. It's like weird. Card that fell on the ground was the queen of pentacles to clarify the queen rising. That's queen on queen here. A lot of you guys are rising and you about to collect some more pentacles here. And it's also here you dropping the paranoia. Some of you guys could have had paranoia around uh, having a lot of money especially a financial provider, organized social consciousness. Somebody misses your consideration. They like how you didn't, and then we got nurturer here. They're starting to see these other feminine energies as problem starters and whiners and complainers. A lot of you guys were elegant, social, socially conscious. You ain't compete with nobody. A lot of these other just started drama just for attention just to compete just to get a oh, whole goodness it's just real negative energy here but a lot of you guys are you're stepping into you're getting the throne that crown is coming back to you you're stepping into your throne spirit please clarify creeping and family i feel like it's this card yeah somebody's stuck in the past lacking playfulness independence boy they lack playfulness and independence boredom they like maturity they're mad that you're self-sufficient because we got self-sufficiency here too this person is so stuck in the past on who you were who you used to be it's like you know this family here they huh they're ruminating also some people here because my air is ringing and i'm hearing people talk it's like some people do semi regret the way they were treated you and then they're starting to also look in the past like you know they might have at first been looking at the good times you guys had they weren't really looking at like how close-minded they were i'm seeing these people also just have an out-of-date mindset where you're more forward moving you're more you know you're different mind you have a different mindset than these people these people could be real prejudiced i'm also hearing homophobic some of you got them it might be that you know it's like and you guys wanted to be in a world where you could feel comfortable and like not people who sit around and just talk about people all the time this person is i don't know 
also they just wanted to hold like past things against you this is the type of person that just brings up everything bad that's ever happened to them again and again ruminating about it this person dissolved their own energy by constantly living in the past on bad things that happened to them i know I, it could take people time to move forward and we're all always going to look back at things in the past there's a def difference between looking back at the past and actually living in the past like you know ruminating again and again it's like these people were the type to repeat the same stories every time you talk to them you ever met somebody like that i'm like oh my goodness you tell me that same story every time i see you what's the next move what's forward moving what's going to happen that's positive in your life oh see and then we got the sun card here to clarify boss daddy happiness triumph festivity, optimism, success, vitality, and fun. This boss daddy here is wanting you to be uh, happy. They like seeing you happy. They like pleasing you. Some of you guys, that might be new for you because it was like, oh my goodness. It's like somebody, you could have, this other person wanted to, hmm, wanted to, promise you happiness to keep you there so you could chase the happiness you know they wanted to bread from you basically with happiness little joys here and there but they wanted control maybe over your happiness a lot of them i don't know it's like they didn't care if you were happy or not it's just weird energy some of them wanted you to not be happy purposely a lot of these masculine that uh masculine energy is really jealous of you and um your ability to create move forward you know everything you are your ability to attract attention this person might low-key uh, be a masculine energy that wants to be a feminine energy you know when it comes down to it but we're about to pull some angel numbers and i'm gonna get out of here we'll pull some angel numbers spare please give me the best angel numbers for this reading Spirit, please give me the best angel numbers for this reading. I'm hearing somebody wants it to be a nine. Yeah, sitting here trying to send energy towards my numbers. Let's see if that happens. We got eight of diamonds again. <laughs> money, money, money. Give me the best angel number. I feel like it's this one. We got three of diamonds. Ooh. <laughs> give me the best angel numbers for this reading. I'm between this and this. I touched this one first. We're going to see what both is. Three, again, we got the three of spades, and that's a five here. So somebody might be eight at uh, area code 835. Let me keep the spades. So 833. Some of you guys could have been seeing 333 a lot. A lot of you guys are definitely seeing 888 a lot. Because in diamonds here, that's letting me know, like, you're moving into more prosperity a time of prosperity somebody else might be helping you to invest your money properly and whatnot but we're going to look up the meaning and i'll read it to you angel number 833 is a powerful message and sign that you are being fully supported surrounded and loved by the angels and ascended masters it can end it indicates that you are successfully manifesting prosperity and abundance in your life by positive choices you have made the oh by in your life by the positive choices you have made and are currently making put your personal attributes and talents to good use and be open to receiving your well-earned rewards and blessings. Trust that all is going to divine plan. Uh, angel number 833 brings a powerful message of love and support, encouragement, guidance, and your angels ask that you maintain a positive outlook, pa positive attitude, an outlook to continue manifesting positive abundance into your life remember that what you put out to the universe
comes back to you. So ensure that you use your personal power and talents in a positive manner always. Uh, angel number 833 tells you to take ownership of your own life and discover your dreams. Use your personal creativity in a constructive and productive way and put your skills and talents to work to achieve your heart's desires. You get what you expect, so make sure you radiate positive energies and expect the highest and best in return and trust that you will find success in your chosen endeavors. That's it. That's all I got for you guys. I love you guys. My energy has been so much more lifted since I've been drinking water, working out, I've been forcing myself to go after work and whatnot, but I feel more lifted. That's it. Thank you guys. I love you guys. If you want to book a personal reading with me, all of that information will be in the description box, as well as if you want to follow me on TikTok or Instagram. That's it. And I will see you next time. I hope you have a great day, evening, night, whenever you're catching this message.